for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got a very important update for you guys about a upcoming EA Sports football game, but not Madden 24. I know that a lot of people are waiting on the deep dive to come out tomorrow about gameplay, and I will be making a video about that. Make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button in the comment section if you guys want to see a breakdown of that tomorrow. Uh, that was the next video I planned on doing some content on, but then out of nowhere, EA got slapped with a lawsuit that is very important to the other football game that they're making, NCAA College 24 or 25 or 26 or maybe not at all until they get this lawsuit figured out. If you guys don't know, if you just take a quick stroll down Google Lane and ask Google, why did EA stop making NCAA football games? Because, and I'll read it for you verbatim, in July 2013, the NCAA announced that it would not renew its licensing contract with Electronic Arts because of an ongoing legal dispute regarding the use of player likeness in the game. Now, if we fast forward to today, a group called the Brander Group, which has deals to negotiate group licensing contracts for 54 Division I schools that would be represented in the upcoming NCAA football game, they are now suing EA over the name, image, and likeness Remember that word, it was in the last thing I just read, deals being offered to the athletes. So basically 10 years later, 10 years next month, and they still haven't figured out the licensing agreement with college football players. And according to this, also uh, schools, because they're obviously 51 Division I schools that are being represented in the game all through this group called the Brander Group. So the Brander Group has filed a lawsuit against EA essentially saying that they're not paying the student athletes enough compared to what they're paying the schools. Apparently the schools are going to make up to 10% of what the game makes, but the current deal is only offering a reported $500 per student athlete and no royalties, which means that they really want to just get the player's name and likeness for a, you know, quick $500 cash, which is obviously super cheap compared to what they're paying, uh, you know, the NFL PA. I'm sure they make way more if you're in the NFL for your likeness and stuff like that. So they're basically saying that, no, I mean, one, they're definitely paying the student athletes that are going to be in the game way less than they're actually paying the schools. But two, is they're really trying to pressure these student athletes to break from the Brander Group and basically sign with another company that EA chose to work with called the One Team Partners to basically cut them out. So what EA is trying to do is they're trying to uh, set a deadline, which I think is June 30th, for these athletes to do what they call opt-in and essentially sell their rights for $500 through a different group called the One Team Partners. This is my understanding of it. I don't necessarily have have a full legal understanding of this. I'm just basically reporting on the importance of this because we all know the EA has been making a NCAA game behind the scenes for the last couple of years and we know the method that they went about doing it wasn't necessarily the best method because it cost them dearly when it came to Madden 23. If you guys don't know what EA did instead of hiring or bringing on new developers or a new development team to develop the NCAA game, what they did was they split the development team in two and let half the staff that used to power an entire game of Madden stay on to work on Madden and then the other half went to develop NCAA behind the scenes. Now, this massively backfired in a number of ways. Number one, Madden 23 came out and was probably the worst performing game out of any Madden in history, which is saying a lot. It performed so poorly when it came to online franchise modes and just franchise modes in general that they had to push back the release of NCAA to what they thought would be 24 to bring back all of those development team members to fix the issues with Madden 23. And then after all of these mistakes were made and they tried to make good on it. Uh, essentially, a big story came out that the NFL was pushing for them to correct these mistakes immediately, or there was some possible, you know, big time firings coming down the line. This is another very publicized story where EA was putting an ultimatum where they had to either, I mean, the, the big story headline that came out was this is like a do or die year for the management team when it came to developing Madden, meaning that if they didn't get this stuff right, that they're pretty much all going to get fired or something of that nature. We'll see what 
what happens with that. But the bottom line is the NFL put a lot of pressure on EA to get their stuff together and bring this development team back and fix this game instead of, you know, I mean, how would you feel if you're paying a company a lot of money to make a video game for you and you found out that they were basically half-assing it because the other half was off trying to make money somewhere else with NCAA? I'd be pretty upset too. I mean, that's, that's a very understandable issue if you know that they're failing miserably and it's because they've been dividing their attention between you and another project that's a very big problem i would i can understand 100 percent how 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 the nfl would feel based off of those circumstances now with that being said i don't know if the nfl can completely get out of their contract with ea or whatever because we do know that at some point nfl 2k is going to come back in some capacity I've been suggesting for a long time that if NFL, if the NFL was happy with EA's relationship or their relationship with EA, they wouldn't be shopping for another partner, even if it's supposed to be you know just an arcade style game, which is what everybody's saying. I think this is a way of just getting 2K's foot in the door. And if EA doesn't eventually fix these issues, they're going to phase EA out and maybe let 2K take over. Those are just my thoughts. None of this stuff is substantiated. I'm just telling you guys how I've been seeing it for a very long time as a lifelong Madden player, a guy who follows these stories so for my you know for what it's worth i really think that this lawsuit is going to push back ncaa another year at least i mean there's no real reason for the people that are bringing the lawsuit to ea to hurry things along i mean it actually helps them out to stretch this out as long as possible and basically prevent ncaa football from ever coming out until they get the money they want and the courts have a lot of power when it comes to things like this basically if they stopped making ncaa 10 years ago because of this exact same problem what makes you think it's going to come back until they solve this problem and if they have haven't solved this problem in a decade what makes you think they ever will so at the end of the day i don't like i said none of this stuff is uh, set in stone i have no real news to report here other than the fact that there has been a lawsuit filed but this is a big time problem and if you're expecting ncaa to come out and you know <laughs> basically save you from playing uh, madden because it's the only football game out there i think there's a very good uh you know very good indications that this is at the very least going to get pushed back i don't know what to make of this i mean like i said they stopped making the game over this this exact same issue and they still haven't solved it it's just not a very good sign so i'm gonna go ahead and end the video because i don't want this to be too long but let me know in the comment section what you guys think i mean obviously ea is still having a lot of issues when it comes to ncaa football and it's not going to stop anytime soon they just got a brand new issue put on and the only way that they can make this issue go away is by throwing a lot of money at it and we all know how cheap ea is they don't like to spend money that's not what they like to do i mean look at how much money they make on mutt compared to how much money they actually put back into the game it's very very little all they really care about is just this money making machine and they don't like this pay money i mean to pay these college athletes only 500 dollars for their likeness for a game that's you know generates billions i mean that's just like super cheap it's 100 percent ea all the way i can't see this issue becoming any less of an issue anytime soon so from my guess i'm going to say at least at some point you're going to hear soon that ea is pushing back maybe within a couple months once this legal battle uh you know hashes out and they realize it's not going anywhere i think at some point you're going to hear at the very least it's getting pushed back to matt to, to ncw 25 but i'm gonna go ahead and end the video there so let me know what you guys think in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below